Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Ryan. Uh, today I am going to be working on preparing our 2001 Shasta Freeport motorhome for exterior paint. Uh, so basically what I'm doing today is peeling off all of these decals as you can see just your standard RV decals and uh, you know we really just don't like the way they look so we're going to take those off and give it a nice fresh new look okay so there are many different ways that you can remove these decals uh, we found three options online that might work the best uh, the first is this stripe off wheel which is a, a drill attachment that you can use to kind of rub off the adhesive on the decals. The next is uh, adhesion remover, it's like a goo gone, like sticker remover. And the third option is a heat gun. And um, I think I'm going to try the heat gun first and see how that goes. I have begun to use the heat gun. Um, here's where some of the decals were before, and now you can just see the bare fiberglass underneath, and there is no sticky residue on that. It's actually coming up very easily with the heat gun, so maybe this won't be as bad as I think it will be. But there's still a lot to do, so we'll see. So this combo is working like insanely good for me. It's like really surprising. I'm gonna keep doing this. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention though, this thing gets like ridiculously hot. So do not leave it in one spot on the fiberglass for too long because you will melt the fiberglass. So just a warning. Right, so I've been trying to get these decals off now for a few days. Uh, just been hard because it hasn't like stopped raining. It's been raining like every day this month. Uh, it's terrible, but I'm having a really hard time with uh, these. As you can see, it's all cracked. So it's really not coming off very smoothly. Nice look. <laughs> well, Ryan uh, set my hair up for me, so I'm sure it looks really good. Let's get a good close up on that. <laughs> wow, what a bun. <laughs> I didn't want my hair to get wet, so. What are we doing? Uh, cleaning it. So you can paint it tomorrow. Yep, I just spent at least nine hours getting all these decals off. Yeah. Uh, so now we are washing it off for fresh paint tomorrow. What's up, Rye? Taping. How long have you been taping? So we got out today thinking that we were going to spray the RV. We were going to spray the whole thing white. Um, we've been taping since last night and this morning. We picked today specifically out of like the last three weeks because it's been terrible weather here in Illinois. And today was like going to be the day. Like it was perfect weather for it. And it is super windy. Like weather changed overnight <sighs> I don't know now we're talking about maybe trying to roll it which we don't love the idea of but like we're getting to a point where we're out of time and we have to get this painted so we'll see
All right, so we we just finished the first coat, and here is what it's looking like in the shade. to dry and then do a second one. What are we doing? Well, we told you guys we were painting it black, but we lied, it's blue. <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks so blue when it's wet. Look at that paint. Tell me it doesn't look blue. Probably doesn't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're uh, actually, this is not on here all the way. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Double dog, Jeremy. Okay. What are you doing? Paint it. We're replacing these, right? I can paint over those. <laughs> I think so. You think so? <laughs> we are. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm about to try to roll regular exterior paint onto auto an automobile. I think this might have been a wrap or like a vinyl wrap or something. So maybe it's not gonna be as bad as like really painting the automobile paint, but we'll find out. It might be a disaster, we'll see. <laughs> It is slippery. Oh yeah, it's not even rolling, it's just like smearing. Oh my gosh, it's not. <laughs> okay, once I get a little bit spread out, maybe I had a lot of paint on my roller. Here. There you go. It's kind of had a weird shape. It has a weird shape. It's just a small part of the cab, so we're hoping we can get by. <laughs> Spray painting the windows black. We just spent, I don't know, how many hours taping? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> it's always the worst part. And honestly, this just really sucks. <laughs> but it's gonna make it look so much better. So they're all finished. <laughs> all right, we have all of the windows in. So now I'm gonna try taking the tape off. We did get delicate tape this time to try to protect the white that we already have. Let's see how it comes off. So far so good. Hey, not too bad. Yesterday we finished up the black on the bottom. It's looking pretty nice. And I need to start on these stripes. You can see. There's three black stripes that will go across the top of the trailer. And so far what I'm doing is not working out so good. Uh, I'm just trying to freehand them with no tape because I was really afraid that the tape would just rip off all the paint underneath. Uh, and I'm gonna have to change directions because it is pretty bumpy. Maybe you can see a little bit. It's pretty bumpy there. Uh, 
just need to get it more of a straight line. So right now I'm just kind of touching up uh, the black bumps with some white paint and then I'm gonna plan up a new, new idea, I guess. We'll see. So here's what I'm working with. This is free-handed. It is not very straight. I mean, maybe from a super long, far distance you can think it's straight, but it does not look good. Oh man, this is tough work here. So, I resorted to painting with my finger. Um, this brush does okay. That leaves a lot of streaks. It seems like it's kind of going on a little smoother. And I've also decided to tape just everything. And I'm doing it in sections. I've got my umbrella here to keep this latex paint from drying out. This is taking days. It is taking so long to do. But I'm almost done. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's looking pretty decent, I think. It's really probably the straightest one I've done so far. Just keep it moving. I'm really happy with the way the decal looks on that. It looks really clean. Very nice. And here is the final result. Alright guys, obviously this is not the professional or proper way to paint the exterior of an RV, but that's not really what we set out to do. We just wanted to update the 2001 um, kind of outdated look, make it a little cleaner and crisp, and that's definitely what we did. To professionally paint an RV, it costs thousands of dollars. Um, so we just wanted to do something within our budget, which this definitely was. It probably cost around $200 I'd say to do the entire project or 29 foot RV. It took only about two days to paint the base coats but since we did these really thin kind of crazy lines that definitely racked up some time <laughs> especially for Ryan. Yeah I spent a lot of time on the prep work uh, taping and peeling and all that stuff so I mean all in all it took quite a bit. But, but if you were like stuff. wanting to do a more simple look it's a pretty time and cost effective method for sure. Perfect. And we used the same paint that we used in our last trailer, which we traveled over 20,000 miles and a full year. And it held up really well. There was very few chips or anything like that. So I'm excited to see how this paint holds up, but I feel pretty confident that it'll hold up pretty well. So. Yeah, yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we have some exciting news for our next video. It'll be our final walkthrough. Yes, we are done. We are 100% done with the RV now and we are ready to show you guys everything we did so definitely subscribe so you can see when we upload that next video stay tuned yep thank you guys as always and we will see you next time